Looking at example 3, we want to find V, our voltage potential across a 3 kilo ohm resistor, 4 times T is equal to 0, 5, and 6 seconds. We have a 2 milliamp current source that is connected to a single pole double throw switch. The top terminal of our single pole double throw switch is connected to our 3 kilo ohm resistor, whereas the bottom terminal is connected to a short circuit. Analyze your initial condition at time t is equal to zero. We see that our two milliamp source is connected to our three kilo ohm resistor, such that we can determine our voltage drop across said resistor via Ohm's law, where V is equal to IR, or two milliamps times three kilo ohms, or six volts. Now when T is equal to five seconds, this is when our switch is activated. And the switch is now making a connection between the terminal that's connected to our 3 kilo ohm resistor and the terminal that's connected to our short circuit. Our current is going to take the path of least resistance, i.e. it's going to go down our short circuit as opposed to the 3 kilo ohm resistor. And the voltage potential across our 3 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 0 volts. Lastly, when time t is equal to 6 seconds, we see that our switch is completely in contact with the bottom terminal of our single pole double throw switch, such that our current once again will go through the short circuit and no current will flow through our 3 kilo ohm resistor. Therefore, the voltage potential across our 3 kilo ohm resistor at 6 seconds is 0 volts.